Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we have with us some light strips from LIFX. Now, these are some pretty interesting light strips. I know I've done some light strips in the past, but this one really piqued my interest. And that's because this light strip not only has different colors, you know, all that RGB stuff, but it can display multiple colors along a single strip. To be exact, there's about 16 color zones, which means you can divide the strip into 16 parts and have the lights um, all different colors or even flowing in a pattern. So let's begin by opening up the box and seeing what we get inside. I do like the packaging of this. It's a very um, easy way to package uh, LED light strips. Usually they are coiled up already. So this one really makes a lot of sense. and. Um, just opening up the box, you'll get, of course, a manual, which we will get to in a bit. Uh, there's also a little code at the back. That helps with uh, pairing up your light strip with the app later on. We also get a surface cleaning wipe, um, probably some alcohol wipes or something like that, which is really convenient. And of course, the first layer we'll get, I think this is a one meter strip, yes. So um, this is a two meter um, set or a 40 inch set. So um, I get it in two strips. This is the first one of two. So this is about a meter long. We're going to set that aside for now. And the next layer is the other meter and also comes with the power adapter. So this power adapter later on will connect with uh, the other part of the power adapter which is in this layer. And of course we'll get all the cables inside as well. So this is everything that we really need and of course it also comes with a couple of the different international adapters um, because we're in Singapore so we're going to use the UK adapter over here but of course you have the options for the others as well. So the first thing I actually realized about this light strip that really stands out is the quality of it. I mean um, it has this very slim uh, profile not very bulgy like the other ones that I've seen. I do have the strips by e light over here and um, i'll get a close-up shot of this but basically the profiles are slightly different and and i can tell that the lifx strips are slightly wider i'll get the exact dimensions for you guys so just very quickly something else that i noticed is that um, the leds are a lot more dense which means in a single meter you're getting more led diodes in a single meter compared to the e light strip this comes in very handy, especially if you're going to do uh, some lightings which you want to try to avoid too many dots. Having the lights closer together will kind of blend the lights in a bit better and I think the LIFX will do a better job at that. Alright, so these LIFX strips have these 4-pin uh, connectors which allows them to be extended. Um, I can't remember the exact number that you can extend it until, there's obviously a limit, uh, but I'll put it up on the screen. So basically, it's really easy, you have the 4 pin holes here and a 4 pin here, and you can just simply connect them using just friction. And the 3M strip at the back, when you tape it onto a surface, should hold them both in place. So very quickly, let's just connect this to the main adapter over here, and then we'll power it on. Alright, so let's just plug it in. And there we have it. All right, so I'm having some issues with this second one. I believe there is a pairing mode um, that you need to do. So on the controller, there's a little reset button at the corner which you need to hold for one second. 1,000. There we go. All right, that was simple. All right, so actually I do have an extension kit right here. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly take it out for you and it's a very simple box actually. Um, they do include another alcohol wipe to clean the surface, but uh, yes, this gives you another meter to attach it to. Alright, so after turning back on the lights, I'm just going to connect it here for you guys. And uh, as we did just now, the extra meter will not light up until you press the reset button again for one second. And that way it reads the whole LED strip as one and um, then you can move on from there. Alright, so I do already have the app connected to my phone. You can download the app and the setup process is pretty easy from there. But I'm just here to show you guys some of the cool features that it has inside. So you'll see three main tabs on the top right hand corner and we just go into the groups menu first where I can show you that within the living room settings, so I'm gonna put this in my living room later, but uh, within the living room settings, you already have a couple of different options 
on the bottom tab. So we'll go into colors for the first part and you can see that firstly you have a slider for the saturation which gives you uh, a lot more control of the colors and of course you have so many different colors on this slider that you can choose from so you can be really accurate with the type of mood that you want to set um, and of course below that we have the dimmer switch which allows you to brighten and uh, dim your lights um, and below that is just the power on and off button. Um, moving on, we'll go into the whites. Now the whites have a couple of presets already there for you uh, and you can scroll through the different white options. Um, and the good thing is that it does tell you the Kelvin levels of each of these presets so that you can match it with other lights in your home. So we have like the blue eyes, which is a 9000 Kelvin setting. Um, we'll go down to something that's more common, let's say a uh, daylight, a soft daylight, which is at 5000 Kelvins. Um, and of course, you also have the percentage of your brightness over here, so you can bring it down to like 40% or you can bring it all the way up to 100%, that's totally up to you. Moving on, let's go on to the themes. Now, the themes is something that it's really cool. It has a lot of presets already there. Um, there's one that's just named Boo because it's um, a Halloween theme, I believe. Um, Halloween just was just over a couple of months ago. Um, then we also have stuff like Exciting, which is one of my favorite ones because it really shows off all the colors. Um, and as you can see, everything's stagnant at the moment, but not to worry, it does have some animations and we'll get into that in a bit. Um, another one of my favorites is, I think, Independence Day. So this is very vibrant, very fun look. Um, you can have it all over your house, uh, that's totally up to you. Uh, moving on, we also have the palettes. So these are also preset colors that you can choose from. Um, in all, it's all solid colors. All right, so with that said, let's move on to the animation features. So it's just on the top right hand corner uh, right here. And you'll see that the first one is already stated as animate. And as you can see, the lights are kind of dancing around in the different colors. Be it, it's very slow, but you can go into the menu and of course change the speed of that. So you can have something that's up to, I think, 20 seconds in terms of how slow it changes, or you can go all the way to one second. Now you do have to press save for this to work. So if you press save at 20 seconds, it's probably not gonna move for the next 20 seconds. We can go with something like cheerful, press save, um, and it just changes the different kinds of colors that it has. Uh, we also have other things like the color cycle where it changes from one color to another. So this one is pretty common in most LED light strips and um, it's not really a very interesting feature to be honest. Going into the flicker option, so you can already see that the lights are kind of flickering. You have a lot more options to choose from in terms of the speed. Now the speed is now in milliseconds, it's a lot slower. We can go something like 0.5 and that's good. Um, maybe something a bit faster, save that. Um, and then in the amount, it goes um, in terms of the variations between the dimmest and the brightest levels. So um, if you want something very strong, you can go with 75%. That, that really brings it from a very dim to something very bright. Uh, and of course, to change the colors, unfortunately, you do need to go back to the uh, living room over here, and that's where you can change it to like a nice subtle orange glow. I like this orange, it's like the fireplace. Um, and yes, there you go. You have the flicker option right there. Now, I do have a lot of other uh, options here for you guys uh, and a lot of other features but I'm not going to go through all of them I think that's up to you to discover so if this is something that you think you like I'll leave all the product links in the description below and you guys can check it out for yourself but in terms of my own opinions and uh, my feedback from this light strips I think these are very interesting light strips something I've never really seen before in the market um, first of all the different colors that can flow through everything the segmented colors which allows you a lot more flexibility and a lot more uh, patterns for you to choose from um, and also the density of the lights I like that the LED light diodes are very close together it gives you a lot more uh, control of um, you know spreading the light out evenly and it also gives you a lot more lights within a single meter now like I said comparing it to the uh, e light strips um, which has two diodes for every three diodes on the uh, LIFX strip um, you're definitely getting more bang for your buck on the LIFX strips so um, I hope this whole video has been informative for you guys um, sorry that I couldn't do a very close comparison with the e light strips but I think um, it is definitely a step up in terms of the range of LED light strips that are out there on the market so I hope this has been informative for you guys like this video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and I'll catch you guys in the next one.